Continuing coverage of NAB 2022. Jeffrey Powers here. I'm here with Emil. Okay. And we're talking about Loop Deck. And we're going to do that next on Geekazine. So Loop Deck is a great system. Uh, I've seen it before, but uh, why don't you tell everybody what it's all about? Uh, so Loop Deck is a, uh, or we have several products there, like custom hardware controllers for a bunch of your editing needs. It sits tightly into your workstation, depending on, like, independent of if you are a content creator, if you're a streamer, or just a productivity guy. Okay. So here at NAB, we're showing a little bit of the video side. So we got Premiere Pro hooked up, um, and we're just basically showing how you can use the Loop Deck to enhance your workflow and maybe save a. 15 to 40 percent uh, time while you're working on it. Okay. So the way it works in this case is that we've got the Premiere Pro set up here. You've got your scrubbing, your timeline jogging very easily. You can do edits um, really quickly. It lets you do those really fine details. You can do easily deleting your clips. I love ripple delete when I'm editing. You also got access to the color grading wheel. So if I go here and check these out here, you can see with your finger, you can actually do color grading fast like this and you save a ton of time by not using the mouse at all so yeah. it really lets you do those like fine edits quite nicely you can also edit in full screen um, which is something that you can't do normally so it's pretty cool in that sense and no problem whatever color uh, wheels you want to work with you got your midtones highlights and shadows you can just swipe on the wheel and then with your finger do the adjustments you can see actually on the Premiere interface itself that when I am moving my finger, the point of uh, the point is moving on the shadows highlight. I can double click to, to reset it as well. Basically, we've got the whole list here. Um, we're showcasing the Premiere mostly now because this is very video based, the whole NAB, but we've got uh, most of the Adobe range. We started off with Lightroom. It's still very popular for that, okay. but also Apple's Final Cut is very popular with us. We've got uh, After Effects, Adobe Audition, and we also cater to streamers. So we have OBS Studio and Twitch integrations as well. Oh, okay, we also do lighter integrations that are based with keyboard shortcuts. So you can use it as a macro pad and a keyboard shortcut launcher to software like DaVinci Resolve, which lets you have almost full control of that software as well. Um, the only thing you can't do in Resolve is the, the color correction, but everything else works just as fine. And you can do that to a ton of different software. So if any software has keyboard shortcuts, you can control it with the Loop Deck. Okay, uh, so I'm assuming there's some software that's uh, on the background that they can control. Yeah, yeah, we have our own configuration software here. Um, basically, you've got a one-to-one -one of the devices. We've got two devices, the CT and the Live, you select which you're working with. Okay. You've got a bunch of different profiles for applications to, that you can work with. And the auto profile, so when you Yeah, we, have, we offer uh, out-of-the-box profiles so that our users can just start working with them uh, yeah, when they plug right. in. Do you have like auto profile, like if you pull up Premiere Pro, will it? Uh, will yes, it the Loop Deck is context aware. Um, it will follow you into the application that you have running. So okay. now I am still in the Premiere profile. If I hop over to DaVinci, it will have changed to the DaVinci profile. And now this is a keyboard based, uh, based profile, but it still works incredibly smooth. And usually our customers wouldn't even know that the difference is within like an integration and a shortcut profile okay. because everything works smooth and well. So this is the CT. This is the CT. This is the flagship model. And how much is that? This retails for uh, $549 regularly. It's available now here at the NAB show. And you can all also order it from our web shop at loopdeck.com or Amazon or B&H. Okay. And you have another one too, right? We have another device over there. Let's we have the Loop Deck Live. We've got the same features and functionalities as the CT, but a little more tighter package. So it is exactly the same as the top half um, of the CT. So we've just lost the wheel and the 12 square buttons. So essentially you can do the same things. It's just a little bit more compromise, but you get a little bit more portability. And this okay. one is more targeted towards streamers. Um, even though it's very good for content creation itself. Okay. So we've got the same setup here. We've got Premiere Pro, and you can do the timeline jogging uh, or scrubbing very easily with this one as well. You just have to use the dials instead of the big wheel. Okay. And the color correction, you also have to use the dials. But everything under the hood works the same. We've got the same software. Um, looks like this. We've got a neat version of the one-to-one the -one of the device here. And uh, you can just um, customize it to your liking uh, from the action panel here. Now we're working the Lightroom Classic profile, so if I would like to change something, I can just browse for actions and uh, let's take something and drag it onto, onto the Loop Deck itself. Okay. 
All right, so this is the, the, the Loop Deck Live. The Loop Deck Live, yes. How much is that? This one is uh, 269 originally and 229 for the, the, for the, the show, show yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Well, two, two great, I'll take that back. Thank you. Yeah. Well, two great uh, systems right there uh, for streamers, for anybody that needs uh, to set up yeah. macros or anything like that. Yeah, so. you can virtually use it with anything. And now we're releasing tomorrow um, a marketplace, which will be a community hub for a bunch of new stuff like profiles for different applications that we do not natively support, but there will be like the Resolve profile, you will have ZBrush, Cinema 4D, um, all kinds of different applications that users can submit to us and we'll put up there. Okay. We also have some plugins there. We have an open SDK for anybody who wants to develop for us and make a plugin for whatever weather widget or anything that you can imagine. Okay. So you can submit that to us as well so you can download it there as well. So we keep adding more content to the Loop Deck with the marketplace as well. And it will be a, quite an exciting thing to see. Yeah, it's, it's awesome, because uh, especially because you have dials and wheels. Yeah. And uh, some of these other programs don't have something like that. Yeah. And that's, the, that's, the that's a good do, thing. The dials do give like the added amount of control. Like you saw the, the result profile that I had. Like even if it's just a keyboard shortcut, it works incredibly smooth and it gives you uh, a lot more control over the software that you, you are working with. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. And, and what's the website? Sorry. Uh, loopdeck.com. Loopdeck.com. Okay, perfect. Thanks a lot. Thank you. There you go. That's it. Loop Deck. Awesome stuff here. Where am I? There I am. Awesome stuff here for at NAB uh, 2022. Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah, we've got more content over at youtube.com forward slash geekazine and geekazine.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, that bell notification over on the side. Go ahead and smash it. And I appreciate that very much. Let me know what you think about all these and if there's any products that I should be taking a look at otherwise. Uh, so, because we got a lot of other conferences coming up and a lot of these, a lot of these same products will be out there. So there'll be more announcements coming very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, you guys geek out and take care.